Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Emma and this channel is mainly about hand sewing but I do like all types of sewing. Patchwork, quilting, embroidery. I also enjoy crochet and really any craft. Today's video is a roundup of everything that I've made in 2023. This video has very kindly been sponsored by Serious Readers. I'm so grateful to Serious Readers for their continued support on my channel and I'll tell you all about their wonderful products a little bit later on. Now, I am quite a slow maker and I enjoy the slowness of making a project. I'm never in a rush. So actually, when I put everything together, it probably isn't as much as some other people might show in their yearly roundup. But at the beginning of this year, I made a video setting out my intentions for the year. And one of my aims was, rather than to create a list of things that I want to make or feel like I have to make, instead I was going to flip it around and just keep a list of the things that I do make and work in that way because I find setting lists and targets add pressure and that's just not something that really sits well with me. It doesn't help me feel creative. Today's video is to see whether that worked. Did I manage to make enough things this year? I'm going to include some projects that are still ongoing because I do like a long-term project. So you're going to see some things that aren't finished. But Hopefully you'll still enjoy seeing everything that I made in 2023. So first up we have this mini quilt. Now right back at the beginning of the year in January I shared this mini quilt that I made and it's really exciting because this is part of my flower of the month, mini quilt of the month that I'm launching in 2024 and this is the snowdrop block and this is February's block and the idea behind the block of the month is that we make the block or the mini quilt the month before so that it can be displayed during the month for that flower and all of the details for the block of the month will be in a separate video so I won't talk about it in any more detail but this is the snowdrop block so it is an English paper pieced quilt mini quilt in a hexagonal shape it has an applique snowdrop on it and it has some embroidery around the edge which is a little poem and this one says snowdrops glisten in the winter light letting you know all will be all right. Because snowdrops are that little glimmer of hope that spring is coming. Now the colour I chose for the embroidery doesn't really show up very well on camera and I'm actually remaking this block, which I'll be able to share with you really soon, using just hexiform. I used papers for this one. So that was the first thing that I made at the beginning of 2023 and it's taken me a year to get to the point of releasing the block of the month but that's okay we don't rush these things. Now my next project was a Valentine's themed project and it was making a heart yo-yo garland so I used Liberty fabric to make these adorable little heart shaped yo-yos or Suffolk puffs depending on where you live and what you call them and I have a couple of short videos on my channel all about this if you want to see. They're really easy to make. The Heart Yo-Yo Maker is a bit difficult to find. I think it might have been discontinued now. But you could make it up yourself or just make some little hearts. It's just a nice way to use up scrap fabrics. So yeah, a really fun project. My next project for 2023 was one I started in 2022 but finished it in 2023 and that is my Hex Petal Liberty quilt with the beautiful panel in the centre, this panel which is back from a company called Madaher and I just love this quilt, it's so beautiful with all of the Liberty fabrics and that panel in the centre and I've loosely hand quilted it and also backed it with Liberty as well which is very luxurious and yeah this project is, has been a joy and I really want to make something else just a small lap size quilt again it's a nice size and it had a good balance between English paper piecing, applique and hand stitching, it was just enough of everything not to get bored 
Um, so yeah, it was a really great quilt and this year I finished it by doing the hand quilting and the binding and there are videos about that detailing it. There's also a video about how I made the quilt um, in the first place, my sort of process of putting it all together. So have a look on my channel for all of the videos about this quilt and I will leave a link below. I'll put them in a playlist, I think. I'll call it the Hex Petal Liberty Quilt. I'll put them in a pe playlist and then you can find them all together there. So really happy with this snuggly quilt. It's such a joy to use now that it is all finished. So as I mentioned before, this video has very kindly been sponsored by Serious Readers and I've been working with Serious Readers for a really long time now and I'm really grateful that they are continuing to support my channel. So I have the high definition light from Serious Readers and at this time of the year particularly, you know, we are right in the middle of December now, it's mid-winter, we have not got very much light at all. Even in the daytime it really is lights on at home to be able to see, especially for something like sewing. So having the high definition light from Serious Readers is an absolute game changer for me. It allows me to see what I'm doing really clearly without straining my eyes. And that's really important, particularly when you're using very fa fine threads and fabrics. What I really love about this light is it is really high quality. You can just tell by looking at it that all of the materials used are of a really high standard and it is hand built here in the UK from their factory in Aylesbury. And it uses something called daylight wavelength technology which is just fantastic. It replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible. So when you're using it you can see what you're doing and the colours look like they would in natural light. It really is completely different to any other light that I've used for sewing. It just makes such a difference. It really is a fantastic light that I just could not sew without. If you're interested in finding out more about Serious Readers and their Serious Lights range then I'll leave a link in the description box below. And if you decide you'd like to purchase a high definition light, then I have an offer code for you, which is SR411, and that code will get you £100 off a high definition light and also free delivery. So a huge thank you to Serious Readers for sponsoring today's video. So my next project is another mini quilt, and this time it was a pattern and tutorial that I put over on Patreon and it is inspired by strawberries and the strawberry picking fields that I used to go to as a child. It uses the honeycomb and square shapes. I made it from hexiform, I haven't backed it because I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it. I was thinking about framing it and I did enter it into an art gallery but it wasn't accepted which is absolutely fine. Um, but it is covered in embroidery, we've got flowers We've got vines and leaves and strawberries and fussy cut squares of Liberty with strawberries on them. So that was a really fun project and I'm still thinking what am I going to do with this. I could turn it into a cushion perhaps, maybe put a border on it. I don't know. So I'm still thinking on that one. My next project that I made, I don't have the example for it anymore, but I do have a couple of kits left for it actually, which will be in my shop. Just a couple and then there won't be any more for that. But it is the flower or floral wreath mini quilt that I designed for the workshop that I did at Lay Family Yarns. I did the workshop in July, but I made the example earlier in the year and just checking, I made it in March. So, um, this is where we're up to now, we're up to March with the, with the makes and this is a really lovely project if you're just getting into EPP and hand stitching. It has some curved shapes in there which are really lovely to do, not, not too tricky if you use the glue pen and yeah it's just a really nice project. I love the fabrics in this one, it has a little bit of embroidery in it too. So. Yeah, really lovely. I don't have the example anymore because I gave it to Kelly to put on the wall in the new um, creative room that she has created next to her shop and yeah, it's just a really nice decorative piece. So 
yeah, really love that one. Okay, so my next project is an unfinished one and this is, it's difficult to put into words what this project means to me, how I feel about it. It makes me emotional, but in a good way, definitely in a good way, but it is my quilt as you go, happy memories quilt. And it isn't very big at the moment, it's only this big. But I have a lot of other blocks ready, just haven't joined them on yet. But this quilt is something that I don't want to finish. I want to keep working on it and because I just absolutely love everything about it. And you will be seeing a lot more of this quilt in 2024 because I have lots of ideas and plans for things that I want to do with it. Um, so in 2023 I carried on with it. I'd already started it in 2022 and only done a little bit but in 2023 I made some different blocks. So 2022 I'd already done the house block and the sunbonnet Sue. They were like my first ones but in 2023 I did the secret garden door block and I did the pink lily of the valley block which is over on Patreon as a tutorial and the pattern. That's an embroidered block. And so is the door. The door is embroidered, that's on YouTube. There is a playlist for this quilt on YouTube. And let's just have a look at the back because the back is glorious as well. So all of this bit is attached and quilted and I have a lot of other blocks ready to go. And this Quilt project is bringing me a lot of joy, it always has, and yeah, it's definitely one that I, I don't really want to finish. I'm not aiming to, I'm not aiming for a particular size or anything like that, but I am going to make it bigger in 2024, and yeah, I have some plans for this quilt, so you'll definitely see more of it. I like that this quilt is telling a story with the special blocks that are included in it, for example, the, the house, it means something to me. And oh the house is also on Patreon actually as the the um the design, the the, the pattern and the there's a video tutorial for that as well because I made another little house in different colours and I'll probably add that to this quilt somewhere else further down the line. But yes, Patreon is a good place to go to find little some little extra tutorials and patterns from me. And it's not just those blocks that are special and mean something to me, the, the hand-stitched ones, but the fabrics really mean something to me as well. They just create this nostalgic feeling for me of childhood, happy times, summer days. It's really whimsical and yeah, I just can't really explain what, what it means to me. It's very special. So you'll definitely be seeing more of that in 2024, but that is probably my favourite thing from 2023. So next we have this little oval shaped sewing case, and this really is a prototype for a future design. I definitely want to make this as a pattern. I want to make another one of these, just change things slightly. It's a really nice make. It needs a handle. It looks like this inside. I did have things velcroed on, but I want to play around with, with that. And I just haven't gone back to this because I've been working on other designs. And yeah, it's just a really nice project. It's all quilted. It uses the foam that I like using. And I really like these fabrics and this lovely zip. So, oh, it's lined with felt, which is something I'm doing a lot on my cases at the moment. It just adds extra structure and a really nice feel. So yeah, I really like this pattern. It just needs some, some changes and I want to put a handle on it because I just wanted something like this that I could carry all my bits and pieces around. I do like making sewing cases, as you may have noticed, um, and there are some more coming up. But yeah, really like that one and hopefully that'll be something that comes back in 2024 as a pattern, who knows. Just going to show you some things that are in the works. So when we're speaking of sewing cases, I started making this probably around April of 2023 and I'm embarrassed to say I've not finished it but I've had all of the things for this 
and for making it into a kit and a pattern ready since then and it I had to put it on the back burner and do something else and it's been left but this is Jane Austen themed fabric and as you can see here it's called Emma and this is going to be a little pouch for a book to go in or whatever you want a kindle or whatever and it's all English paper pieced and it's all designed and it's still in pieces I've been working away on it and then putting it down going back and forth so that will definitely be something that will come back in 2024 that um yeah and there'll be some kits for it as well because I have all of the fabric and then I'll just show you these blocks these are for the flower of the month mini quilt that I mentioned but they don't have their flowers in yet but I just thought I'd show you the blocks for some of the months and some of the fabrics but they are a bit of a secret so I'll put them back to one side and you'll see them later in the year with their flowers and embroidery on. Little houses have always been something that I just love, charming cottages and things like that and so 2023 was the year when I actually made a couple of my design ideas that I'd had for a few years come true. So the first one is the Little House Notion pouch which uses clamshells for the roof tiles. We've got window and door and it opens up again felt lined and it's just the right size. I've got some scissors in here and a spool of thread. It's just the right size to keep your essentials. So I brought out a pattern for the Little House Notion pouch and I made another one as well. So sweet. This one is in these colours and yeah thank you to everybody who has supported me by buying the pattern and yeah I really hope that you love making it if you do make some then please share it on Instagram tag me so I can see I would absolutely love to see but they're so sweet and just really nice to have all of your things in so as well as working on that I just have to find <laughs> where did I put it um oh here so as well as working on that, I also made a larger version. Uh, this was the prototype first one that I made and again it opens up like this and you have your zip pocket down here. We have two small pockets and a big one. To make it a better pattern I altered it slightly and now this is the finished version and I really like this curved edge with the bias binding and this the time of making this video, the pattern for this is not ready yet. It's all been made and there are video tutorials that are an add-on and everything's done. It's just with the testers at the moment who are going through it and making it. And so hopefully that will all come back with no huge changes needing to be made. And then in the new year, this pattern will launch. It's the same inside. We have the pockets and the zip pocket. Oh, mine's open. It has this um, lilac zip to match. And there will be kits as well. I have so many bolts of fabric all stored there. You can probably just see some of them there in the corner. Right there, <laughs> I can't point there. So everything is ready to go almost for this. So this will be launched in the new year and yeah I'm really really happy with this and I love using it. I've been using it and the original version as well to carry this around with me while I'm working on that so yeah it's really it's really a joy to use this so that will be coming in 2024. So another thing that I made this year was a Liberty scrap fabric bag and I've been using this to store my crochet in and you can see there that's what it's lined with and there is a whole video showing how I made this on my channel and that video has really surprised me that is my most popular video by far it's only three months old it's yeah it's got a lot of views on it and yeah I'm really pleased that so many people were interested in finding out how to make this bag and it's, it's just a lovely squishy bag it's hand quilted using up scraps I mean scrap projects are just so great aren't they and yeah really love this one it looks so nice carrying it around I love the wooden handles on it <laughs> so yeah really great project and if you didn't see that video or you want to go back and find out how to make it then I'll leave a link to that below 
but yeah, really fun one. Liberty scrap fabric bag. So sticking with the theme of pouches and bags and things, I made a couple of purses and they're on a video as well where I do talk about these in more detail and where I got the, the kits from. They're from a company called Oh So Sweet and they kindly sent me this bubble or bubble, I can't remember what it's called, purse clasp and I used this fabric and added some embroidery to it. I'll leave a link to their shop below, I lined it with the Liberty scrap, um, that was a really nice little mate. And they also sent me this one as well, which I made from this lovely poppy cotton fabric which is made to look like it's been pieced and I just did some chunky machine stitching with top stitching thread over the top and this fabric is really sweet and yeah really lovely little case with the clasp really nice so they were really enjoyable mates gone a bit out of order here of the order in which I made things but earlier in the year I made this quilt as you go wall hanging which has pockets on so you can keep things in it For example you can you can put pens in it or rulers needles any any sort of tool or notion will fit really nicely in there and it's made from liberty quilting cotton and instead of using wadding i used foam so it's much thicker and more rigid and just hangs on the wall this is a video tutorial on YouTube as well, so if you wanted to make that, just have a look for that video and you can follow the steps. Yeah, it's a really nice one to make, really fun, nice way to use up colourful fabrics to brighten up the wall. Now I know I said the Happy Memories quilt is probably my favourite thing from 2023, but maybe the penguin quilt that I made my son might be a joint favourite because he absolutely loved this and I absolutely love making things for him. So here it is, penguin quilt. It's really quite big, um, perfect child size though and it's a pattern by Elizabeth Hartman. It is all machine pieced and then I machine quilted it with diagonal lines. Put this lovely binding on and the backing fabric is so lovely with arctic animals on and it has some metallic in it as well which just makes it really lovely and yeah the penguin quilt it's definitely a favourite from this year it really is a lovely quilt and lovely and snuggly and the best thing about it is that my son really loves it so the last thing to mention that I think is the last thing to mention in terms of sewing and patchwork and quilting is the Jane Austen quilt that I started to make and I made a little video about it and I'll, I'll link that, that's on my channel. But I decided I'm going to make this bigger and add some more diamonds and I just haven't got around to finishing it. But I will, I, I'll take that forward into 2024 with me. That was a really lovely project and inspired by the Jane Austen quilt which is a pretty spectacular quilt that I was very lucky to see in 2023. That was definitely a highlight of the year for me. It was really special and going to see her house and everything, it was really a dream come true for me. So this was my little memory quilt attached to that visit. So that's everything for patchwork and quilting and sewing, but I do like crochet and crochet is something that I come back to every now and then and I do a little bit throughout the year and this year I started a scarf but I haven't finished that but I thought I would show you what I've been working on the most recently which is these hexagonal blocks with flowers in them and it's a pattern by Sandra Cherry Hart and I'll leave a link to her and the pattern below and I've been making them in all of these different colours, here's a blue one and yeah I've really made, I've made quite a lot of these recently when I wasn't too well I was actually able to do a bit of this and I have lots, so let's see what stack I've got here, They're quite a lot <laughs> which is nice and I was going to make them into a cushion but I don't know I might carry on 
make them into a quilt. So I have this pile of them now and I have lots more flowers started. Oh, even more, even more down there. Here's some more. Another one. So yeah, that's a really lovely project. It feels very spring, summer in the colour vibe, but I just love working with colours like that all year round. So that's a really nice one and yeah, who knows? Not sure what it's going to be. I'm going to make quite a few more first before I start joining them together. I'm just probably going to stitch them together a bit EPP-like, um, but with yarn, obviously. Um, or might crochet them together, I don't I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm not doing the join as you go method, which she recommends, which is probably silly of me, but um, yeah, there's another nice yellow one. It's just a project that's making me really happy. I know that you probably all know her and her patterns, but I just have to say that I love everything that she makes and find it really inspiring, so definitely worth going to have a look if you don't already know her. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it for everything that I made in 2023. I have a lot of it sitting here in front of me and it does look quite like quite a lot. Um, so for someone who likes slow stitching and taking their time, I have accomplished something this year. And I think it's worked. I think the whole don't write a list and tick them off, but rather write a list of what you do make and do accomplish. I think that has worked for me this year. And yeah, I'm excited about 2024 and what that will bring. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and please leave me a comment and tell me what's your favourite thing that you've made this year and um, I'd really love to know what it is that you've been doing. So this is probably my last video before Christmas so I will see you after Christmas with something else but until then if you celebrate Christmas have a wonderful time, if you don't I really hope that you have a lovely time as well whatever you are doing towards the end of December. I wish you well and I hope you get some cosy stitching time and I'll see you really soon. Thank you so much to everyone for supporting this channel this year. Thank you so much to the wonderful patrons over on Patreon and to all of you who have continued to watch my videos throughout the year. It honestly just means so much to me that I can continue to do this. Um, yeah, it's really special and I definitely don't take it for granted. So yeah, massive thank you to you all and wishing you all the best for whatever you're doing over the next few weeks and I'll see you soon. Take care, bye bye.